Hello everyone, welcome back to the Genomics Bootcamp. I am back with a quick recommendation video on an R book and the one that is, I have in mind is the R Graphics Cookbook 2nd edition by Winston Chang. This is a very useful book because, well, we uh, need to do visualizations in R fairly often. But as for me, I not always know what is the best to use or sometimes I tend to forget how to do some of the stuff. In this case, uh, the book like this comes very handy. If you really want, you can buy also a fiscal copy of this book, but it is also available online for free, as you see on the screen. Well, this R Graphics Cookbook is a practical guide that provides more than 150 recipes to help you generate high quality graphs quickly. And also, this is without the need for you to go through pages and pages of content. It is organized in a very neat way. So as you see on the left side, there is, well, the table of contents. And well, it starts with some preface information and uh, in general information how to use the book. And then, well, some of the naming conventions. Some of the R basics uh, that, uh, well, it's good to recap perhaps for some of you. Uh, just I mentioned the book requires a basic understanding of R, but other than that, it's, uh, I would say, very suitable also for newcomers. Then there is a neat little, uh, well, uh, chapter about the quick exploration of the data. So this provides uh, some of the most used uh, visualization types. That is the scatter plot, the line graph, the bar graph, the histogram and the box plot and also possibilities of plotting function curves. So these are, well, the basic versions of these graphs. Let me show you an example. For example, the line graph. So here what we have, you see it's a very basic, well, visually not so stunning, but still useful visualization of the data. So this is perhaps something that you want to use for yourself if you well just get the data or you know want to see what's happening. So this is definitely not a publication ready output or picture, but it's very useful to get to know what's happening. And basically this is uh, the situation for all of the other plots here or all the other chapters here. Of course, there is much more you can do and that is then discussed in a later chapter for each of these graph types. So in this case it's also there are handy links within the book itself. So here you can see that you can see chapter 4 for more in-depth information. Indeed you can click or you can go in the table of contents and then you have a much more detailed information and output. Also just let me demonstrate quickly for example, you want to change the appearance of the lines, so you can do it very easily with this very handy guide. So you can see that there you have a plenty of options how to do it. So I would say this book gets you covered for the basics of our visualizations for exploring your data. Also, there are some other chapters that uh, you might find very handy. One of them is uh, chapter six, that is a summarized data distribution. So this is not one type of plot, but it's a multiple versions uh, of uh, how to explore the distribution of your data by visual means. Later on, there are also some uh, subchapters on uh, some of the aspects of these graphs. Namely, you can uh, read about annotations, axes. Well, <laughs> there is quite a lot, as you see. Uh, then controlling the overall appearance, for example, with teams. Uh, quite a bit about legends, facets, and also using colors in plots. So these are also all aspects of graphs that are actually valid for any type of graph that you might want to make. And of course, R is known for a very wide variety of well, graph types or possibilities. And uh, these are, I would say, partly covered in the chapter 13, miscellaneous graphs. So here 
you see about correlation matrices, heat maps, dendrograms, I don't know, a, a lot of lot of stuff that is fairly specific, but maybe this is exactly the one that you want to use. And as of for everything in this graph in this book, you have uh, the graphs and you have the codes already in this book. Of course, at the end, you want to create pictures that you can use, I don't know, in your thesis, in your presentation. And uh, the R cookbook also gets you covered here because then there is also chapter 14 for well, basically making these figures as a high quality output. Also, if you would need a reminder or kind of uh, well help with uh, organizing your data Chapter 15 is about getting your data into shape. So perhaps you might want to check that one out even before getting into the plotting part. So to summarize, the R Graphics Cookbook is a wonderful help with R visualizations for newcomers and advanced users alike. So I definitely suggest to check it out. For today, from my side, I thank you for your time and wish you a very nice day.